मेडिसिन किया दिया यहाँ मेडिसिन मेडिसिन किया दिया खाना किया दिया यहाँ पे ना बेटा ना उधर से यहाँ बेटा viewers welcome you all on earth daughter this earth ecological learning has been an effective method so far in exploring science of nature this up is searching some relevant linkages and association of various components of ecosystem and species her learning helps her lots to find answers of some pertinent questions how plants grow how leaves come out how stems emerge out how flowers bloom how fruits grow how roots develop she is now searching answers itself and she develops such intelligence in her etiquette and wisdom at such early age ecological wisdom comes through the process of observation and practice and once it leads to intact this wisdom for living in coexistence of nature The best part of such learning is to live in coexistence with nature. When we are going through the most existential crisis of centuries, it is an ecological learning and wisdom to live in coexistence with nature can ensure our survival of future generation. Ecological learning has been proving to be instrumental for this. She is sincerely observing day-to-day growth of plants. She is marking every day's pattern of coming out of leaves, flowering and fruiting of plant. Her joy and happiness, the change in mood, could be seen on her face. She turns happier when she observes growth in the plant and she immediately turns down and bored when she observes her plants have subtle growth. This is how learning has been helping her mind. to link brain and science together practical learning is giving her exposure to develop hand to hand experience of nature and its interaction with us closely sowing the seed in soil and observing the pattern of wasting or splitting of seed pods and seedlings emerging out is an exclusive observation when this i just 3 and 1/2 years older see now it starts knowing why some plants are redundant to grow she has a developed brain now to explain little and redundant growth of plant she perfectly explains either soil needs water nutrients or some ingredients or pot must have been smaller in size and plants need more space today's learning is about repotting of her one of the eminent plants in her garden family which was showing some redundant growth since last over one month short fern has a slow growth from last 25 30 days this i was worrying to see the short fern growing slowly she has been watering plant every day and even she has poured liquid banana fertilizer despite the short fern shows no positive growth finally her mom decided to repot the short fern and the process of translocation the fern gets momentum a larger pot was taken and this has started preparing the soil mixture and she takes equal proportion of cocopet soil and vermi compost and she added 30% of neem chalk in the mixture know the mixture well equal proportion of soil vermi compost and cocopet with 30% addition of neem chalk and the mixture of soil is ready and she herself prepared the mixture and putting the soil mixture in the pot 
She waters the mixture of soil for moisturizing the soil particle. Finally, she puts the saucepan in the new bigger pot and the happiness of relief could be seen over her face. Her another part of learning in collecting seeds and observing the process of germination. She now has collected curry plant seed from her garden itself. Now she put the mixture of soil in a pot and she put the curry seed pot by fingering it deep in the soil mixture so that she could place the seed pot carefully in it and she does such activities three four times earlier. She knows how seed pots get sprouting to become seedlings coming out and that grows into a root haze to anchor the soil and develops into a full grown plant. Let's see whether her curry seed pot grows and coming out in a new plant and beautiful plant. She must show you the seed growing into a plant in the next part of the experience. Till then, like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you. Goodbye.